Hi guys. I just took a video with my neighbor Larry. We uh he had a heater core that was clogged on his 2000 and what year is it? 02 Ram 1500 with a 4.7 in it. Uh only one side of the heater core was getting hot. It was blowing hot out of the passenger side, not on the driver's side. So we did a flush on it and it worked. It did clear it up. You might want to try this on your car. Not guaranteeing it, not telling you it will work, but it worked on his. All right, so here's the video. There's a bunch of other nonsense in there trying to have a little fun. So I just made a video today of him putzing around with his stuff. Hope you enjoyed a little bit. Bye bye. Larry is obsessed with the dust that gets on his truck. They put this shit down on the road. It's not sand, it's some other crap, and it makes his dust. You wash your car, the next day you got a layer of this stuff on your car. It's driving him crazy. You'll hear him talk about it when he comes back out. I'll get him going on the dust. Uh, what's going on with this truck is he's only getting heat out of one side. He said it's blowing cold. I don't think the heater core would do that. I would think it would be a blend or issue. But he says that when he blows this out, the heat gets better, so... Doesn't make sense to me, but Larry's amazing if you knew Larry. He's special. What he's gonna do, he's gonna pull this air box out. He told me he needs this three lines to blow this heater core out. I don't understand that. I see two lines to the heater core. I don't see three lines. I see them right there. Right in the back there. Right there are the heater core lines. Oh, uh, he could put a bypass hose in there if he wants to back flush his whole system. Cut that line and splice a bypass hose in. Back flush the whole uh, system out. That's what I do on some of my vehicles. Uh, you got to make sure you get that uh, tap water out of there, though. Never fill your car up with tap water or well water. The uh, minerals and stuff will eat up some of your metals in your cooling system. I use the condensed Prestone antifreeze in all of my cars. I don't use Dexcool in my GM vehicles, and I don't go spend any extra money on a Mercedes coolant on a Mercedes. I just flush them out and I run Prestone with distilled water. Make sure you use distilled water in there, okay? That's important, guys, to protect your cooling system. All right, we're gonna wait for Larry to come out. I'll get him going about the dust. I'm telling the people about the dust. Oh, look at look at under the hood. Look at this. Oh yeah. Look at the dust. Look yeah, at this yeah. shit. That's how my Honda is under covered. The hood. I told them every day, every my day. My Honda's like that. Every it's, day. My Honda's the same way, and I that car you open the hood, you swear it was new. It's like living on a dirt road. Right. right? It's the worst. Like living on a dirt road. Yeah. They, they can't use sand, they gotta use dust. I don't know why they don't use they regular don't sand. I think it's that stuff from the fracking, man. I think uh, they're I dumping that know, fucking... I moved here, it wasn't like this. I think it's that chemical waste. That's what they were doing. They were buying that shit, or they're getting paid to take they it and do, dump it. When I moved here, they didn't use that. They had something else. It wasn't dusty years ago. It was probably embers before. Every year, I gotta wash my whole house outside, you know? Yeah, he wanted to, I think he's called the town about it. <laughs> I don't think they're going to do anything for him. I wouldn't even waste my time calling him, but maybe if everybody started a petition. Are the numbers running on the camera again? Yeah. You know what you got to do? You got to start a town petition about that shit they're putting down. Well, I... If you got a bunch of people that complain about it... Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Only me. I'm the only one that cares about it. Well, I don't see, like it. This just pries Yeah, off. you just pop that right... You, yeah. you should be able to just lift it right off. Yeah, I think so. It's on those grommets, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That air box just pulls right out of there. I'm surprised that didn't hook up to anything. No, it doesn't, huh? The intake. Yeah, yeah it's got a cone, yeah. Cold air See, intake. here's what I gotta do. There's only two lines to that. It's not three. You gotta plug this to her to run out of your bottle. This oh, that I connects? Pitched. What the hell? What the hell's me up? You scared him. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, that's good. You know, no, no, I, I had... That's a small box. You yeah. can't find the Walmarts. They're probably all out you of them. You can't find, you can't find no aspirin at Walmarts. 
Oh, because of I coronavirus. coronavirus. Yes, Everybody's the, buying everything. Cause Everybody's freaking out over that coronavirus. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. You can't exactly. get you can't get Purell hand sanitizer. No, you know I went I went to CVS. I got little bottles like that. I yeah. bought six of them. Yeah. Yeah. It was on the news last <laughs> night you on hand sanitizer. There's places charging over twenty dollars for a bottle, and it was only three something. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And Price gouging. Yeah. And they say yeah. the best thing to do is anyway <clears throat> is wash your hands. Wash yeah. your hands. Wash your hands. And don't touch your face. Your nose. And what do you do? You're always touching your mouth. Well, they say. I think it's 15 times an hour you touch your face on average. Oh, oh boy, I do. I know I do. You get an itch. And yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't it's know. Constant. Oh, they yeah. said now even those masks don't stop it no, because they, it's they, too they small. No good. Yeah, you got to wear a gas mask. <laughs> you know? It's going to be all over the place. Did uh, them roofers call Junior? I get Lowry and I get the, the roofer. His you gave him the number, number already? I don't know. <coughs> yeah, he, he was down yeah, the Yeah, my deductible is seventeen hundred dollars How the hell can that be so high? For what? <coughs> to patch my roof? Roof? I got some singles to fill up my roof. Seventeen hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's my deductible. I don't know how that could be so high. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, then Sally calls me. Kata's boyfriend had a heart attack. Really? He's twenty years old. Holy really? They shit. found they found him. They found him. He, he was he was blue in the face. They, they figured he died. He was dead for 25 minutes. Oh, shit. Really? So so, I, I, so right now they're at the hospital, so I don't know what's going to happen. Probably going to have brain damage. You know what I should that's, do? I, that's it. If he has brain yeah. damage, you I know, just pull let him Yeah, you're better off. Yeah. Don't let him yeah. go for that. Somebody be a vegetable. I wouldn't want to be like that. No, so I don't know I'd rather gonna, let me go. I happen. I, I really should know. pull his holes off, catch There's only a little bit in here. They got these organizations. Uh, I get uh, emails from them, newsletters, Death with Dignity. They're trying to get the laws passed where you can decide that you want to die. You know what I mean? That's not living. That's existing. The it hospitals are just living. making money. It's not living. No. When, you're, when you're, you know, you're just laying there. Yeah. You know, it's not, that's no. not living. No, they there's no quality it. of life. I said that years ago. Yeah. No quality yeah. of life. My, uh, my brother's ex-wife, my sister-in-law, uh, her boyfriend now, he had an ear infection. He was getting dizzy a little bit and he's being stubborn, didn't want to go to the doctor. He's like a vegetable. He's been in a nursing home for over a year now. He's on a feeding tube and everything from a stupid ear infection, not going to the doctor. He's dying. He's all atrophied. His muscles don't work anymore. That's not living like that, you no, know? it isn't. No. It really isn't. He'd be better off dead, in my opinion, you know? It really isn't. I'd rather be dead than be like that. Yeah, if you disconnect this hose, and then pinch this one so it doesn't go back and then disconnect that one and it'll come right out you know what i mean you know what i did it was work you know why i did it the way i did it i took it off here and i took it off here yeah, you don't even need to take but the it, other one off here if you're good. getting you know this why? off I, I hold these up like this and i dump the clr in there and it runs in yeah but you can do it right through this one it'll run in because you can get this one higher yeah, it could run through that. That's actually pinch better. That one off. Yeah. yeah, pinch this one off back here, <coughs> so the CLR can't go that way. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That'll work. I'll see if I can get this off. There it is. I want to catch what little bits. There's there. less less for you to disconnect. You know. I don't know if I can catch this. I don't think I'm fit in there. You're not gonna catch that. I don't think. Probably not. There ain't much in here. Oh. <laughs> Did I get you? It's all right. It's antifreeze. They ain't gonna kill me. Yeah, it's leaking all over anyway. Oh it's spitting at us. It's mad. Oh, it's coming off that hose more than it is anything yep. else. Yeah. Yeah, that's not even coming out of there. You just gotta hose it down so the animals don't get it. Yeah, I'm gonna when I'm done. I'll, I'll uh, clean it all down. I got yeah. The hose right there. That should be good. So I'll run it through here. Yep. And take off this one. Pinch this as close as you can to that, so you don't. And I got to take this one off. Yep. Yep. And then hold it up. Yep. And uh, and run the hose through here. Yep. All right, I got to get that one off. Pinch that one now. Where the hell are they? Right here. Huh? I'd go closer to the hose so you don't yeah. get the CLR in the system. You know. Yeah. You know what you should do is put rubber hose on your vice grip so you don't damage the... Yeah, no, they got sharp jaws yeah, on it. Yeah, I put rubber Actually, hose on it. I got thinner hoses <clears> if you want me to go get a piece of... 
uh, that's what I do. I put rubber hose mm -hmm. on them. Then you, I you, did it. You're I gonna did, damage I've them. I've done this a couple you times. Make sure you don't know. If hose, I yeah. damage that, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. To the yeah. They're pretty tough. Those hoses. They are. Oh, you could put a rag tight. on it, even. Yeah. I got it too tight. Put a rag on it, Larry. There we go. Yeah. Done already. Ah, you. you. I do it the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, right here. Now. That one you're going to leave the connected. that too, right? Well, if you want to stop the antifreeze from leaking out, yeah. Because you're going to yeah, lose, lose your antifreeze, yeah. That one too. Yeah. So we're pinching this one to keep the CL off from going back in the system, and we're going to pinch the other one to stop the antifreeze get, from leaking out. See if I get the small one. Because we're not flushing the whole system. He's got fresh antifreeze in there. He had this radiator replaced about a year or two ago. They claim they did the heater core, and uh, he really doesn't believe that they replaced the heater core. He thinks they just flushed it out, blew it out, because the same symptoms keep happening. I'm telling you, these garages are unscrupulous. They'll rob you blind. They will. They'll rob you blind, these garages. It's crazy. You don't think they ever even replaced the heater core, right? I don't think they did. No, they just blew it out. I can't prove it. I bet you that. No, you can't prove it. That's why they do it. Because it's an all-day thing to take that out. More than a day, and they did it in about five, six you hours. You know what you got to get? One of those little hidden cameras and leave it in your car yeah. when you leave it with them. I know it. And you know what? If you catch them, you're not going to do anything to them anyway. Mm -hmm. They have inspectors that are supposed to check these places, but they only got like probably five for the whole yeah, state, you know? <sighs> My uh, engines instructor had a friend that did that. That was his job. He was uh -huh. a state inspector, and he used to do stuff to the cars and bring them to the garages, and he'd catch them like crazy. I saw that. Sure. Robbing people. They had it you know? on TV where they were nailing them. Yeah, they just get a fine. That's all. They make more money to where to fine. It doesn't matter. It's just part of the business expense. Yeah. They write it off as part of the business expense in their budgeting, you know? They got to make the fine higher than the profit that they make from the stealing to stop them, you know? Yeah. Make the fine ten thousand dollars, then they wouldn't do it. Five hundred dollar fine that's not going to stop them. Yeah. Nope. That crap right. is everywhere. That oh, dust. That's tough to get that. But I Did got you it. get it? Yeah. Now you got to get I it. I got apart. a break in here. Hope I don't lose a lot of the freeze out the other end there. You shouldn't. You got a pinch, right? Yeah, with these little guys on there. Hopefully, it's pinched what? off good. Enough. I got another pair of flat needle nose ones. You want me to go get them? Well, let's see what happens. Need a pick tool to loosen the hose up? It should come off. You had it off. It come off. Get your wife? My sister in law. That's Walt's wife. Oh, Walt's wife? Yeah. This side's leaking. No. I'm gonna blow that out with the air hose or the water. No, I'll go home. I'll, I'll pick you up. Goodbye. I'll be home in a minute. Bye. Oh my god, I can't even leave the house. I'm Paul. I'm the guy that's doing Walt's oh, yeah. muffler. <laughs> I'm good at introducing. Yeah, he didn't introduce me. <laughs> He's gonna fix Junior's truck. With the yeah, I'm the guy doing the exhaust. Oh. Yeah. And he's done Lowley's uh, Benny's car. Yeah, Benny's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'll blow that out with water first, then I'll yeah, get put that the air on the water yeah. out. I'll have to have to get you some more of that, too. See, See they had a big, bigger box, but like you said, they're probably oh. a lot of everything. Oh. Them, them stores, everybody's going crazy. I know, I know. Buying everything, you know. Okay, thanks, if, I'll see you. If you're working on any of your radiator systems or stuff, try to be careful with your antifreeze. That stuff tastes very sweet and animals drink it and it'll kill them. It's very toxic to animals. Uh, if you do spill stuff on the ground, please be sure to clean it up thoroughly. Hose it all down so the animals don't get it. You don't want to hurt our little furry friends. He's going to hose this whole area down thoroughly after we're done here. Coming right out. 
Yeah. What I want to do, I want to see if I can backflush it the other way too a little bit. Doesn't really make a difference. Nah, not really. Well, well, I don't come out here and I, this is up high, so I don't know. I, I have yeah, that's not gonna, little. that's not gonna even make a difference actually, but uh, hold yeah, it for we'll you. Coming right out, that looks clear, man. Yeah. I don't think your problem is your heater core. I think it's a blend door. I think you got a blend door well, sticking. When I flushed that, I get heat for about six months. Yeah, I don't know. That, that's weird. Yeah. You know, that's been flushed so many times since Scotia done it. And when Cliff done it the first time, he said all kinds of shit come out. <laughs> well, maybe it is the problem. I mean, it's not the heater door. It's just weird that you would have a no... I don't know why there's the heat on one side. One side. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> maybe it's got two heater cores in here? No. You make a double core, but that's not it. Yeah. Very strange for only half of it to not get hot. A very weird symptom. But he said once he flushes it out, he gets heat, so... Doing something. Yeah, Gonna blow it out with air now. I'll get more hose for you. We gotta fix that leak when it's we get all, that pressure it's, switch. Yeah, it's all drained out anyway. When's the last time you drained your water? You know what I do? I take both them hoses and hold them up in the air. Don't that CLR and it shows it yeah. the core up. When's the last time you drained your water out of your compressor? Not too long ago, two months. Yeah. Two months. Not because they're under water. Yeah. But there was fucking pinholes in there too. Yeah, you Listen told me you fix it with the rubber, right? My brother, my brother wants to put a screw with a piece of yeah, rubber on yeah. the end. He's got better than What do you put? Just a metal screw? A sheet metal screw in there? Yeah, soft tapping metal screw. Yeah, with a rubber washer. Took a piece of fucking bike tube, put it on there. Yeah. It did it, you know. I don't think anything's gonna come out because it's already all pitching downhill, so yeah. it's probably out already. Yeah. I'll try it. You'll now. get some out. Yeah, you got a lot of water out there. You want all the water out so the CLR will clean yeah. the grime, yeah. That's probably good. That's probably good. That CLR, you could actually dilute it, no? You might as well leave that here. You're going to need it again. Yeah. You shut that compressor off. It leaks and it'll keep running. <laughs> Got an old Craftsman compressor. His pressure switch is leaking. We ordered a new pressure switch. He's gonna replace that. Got a bad leak. It's leaking out of inside the pressure switch right here. I found a pressure switch on eBay for under 20 bucks. 120 PSI switch. That pressure switch should be here within the next couple of days. I don't know how the you know? hell I did this, Paul. If I go up like this, I could have sworn I had more along. I would pinch that off again. No, I want to fill this with CLR, but... Fill it through here. It'll get uh, through the whole thing. Larry, could you rub high here? Look, yeah. that'll force it through the whole thing. And then just block this off, huh? Yep, block that off. Fold that hose if you want. Just fold it right over and clamp it. Uh, I could pinch it off. Fold it right over and clamp it, then it'll definitely not leak. Yeah, let me see. Then when you're done, I'll, I'll back flush them. But last time I had them both up here somehow. I had it off from there and here, and I stuck them up in the air. Yeah, yeah, that's and not. And I filled it up. It worked good, but I had to plug this one too. Yeah. But. You don't have some piece of something, a screwdriver or something you can shove in there to block that <coughs> hose, like a plug? I probably do, yeah. Just plug it, I would plug it. Plug it's better than the... Yeah, because that's going to leak a little bit. You're going to lose it. 
<laughs> something that'll plug it. You gotta have something that'll fit in there. I don't know why, but that might You got a piece of wood? I'll go sand it down in my basement real quick. Yeah. I'll make a plug. You got a piece of broom I handle? I have a fucking wooden dowel in the cellar. Yeah. I might. I Let got me see some. if I, I got shit. Here, you, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. He took a broom handle and actually threaded it in the end of that other hose. This is definitely higher than the heater core. It should work. I gotta watch it doesn't back up air. That's why I think I left it off down there until it start coming out. Then I know yeah, it'll, it'll go. It'll bubble out either way. I don't way. think it'll take this whole can. Should. That's probably enough. When I did it before, I wouldn't even take the whole can when I had it upright. It's coming up here. I would add a little water to that to make sure you got it full. I would fill it up until it came to the top of this hose. You know? That way to be sure you got that whole core full. Oh, you're leaking a little bit, aren't you, on the bottom? A little bit. Yeah, I don't even worry about it. That's good. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, she's peeking out. You don't want to put a little water in there until you get to the top of this hose to be sure you filled it up? Oh, that's great. Slow down a little bit, though. I can thread it down in a little more because I don't want to force my luck. I better leave it alone. <laughs> it's just five minutes, we'll blow it out. I'm gonna let that sit in there for five or seven minutes. You know what I use to clean the aluminum on my engine? What's that? Vinegar. Vinegar? Yeah, yep. Good, yeah. yeah, it cleans the oxidation <laughs> off the aluminum. Like Look, the alternator and crap. This is one of the old timers, Paul. We got all worn out. Yeah. Works good though. We use it just to wipe this down while we get it out, no? Valve covers and all that crap. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to do the valve covers. Get some of this. You almost need a little rag to get in there. Yeah. Man. I'll try it. You don't want to break no wires off or nothing? No. It got in there pretty good. As long as I get it halfway, yeah. oh, that's good enough. That's good. good Remember the old Chrysler's all used to have the ballast resistor on a yeah, <laughs> firewall? Yeah, my Chrysler got it. Yeah. There's your engine computer right there. Yeah. That's the engine computer. Yeah. Probably drain that now. That's been in there five minutes, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. five minutes now. I'll pull this stick out. I think you should dump more water in here till you get this full. Yeah, just I to for the hell of it. It ain't gonna take much. It's almost full. I See how it. much? I can hear it gurgling up. No easy because maybe pinch that edge right here. Let me try. I'm gonna, let's do it with the <coughs> funnel. Just put the funnel in. I'll mist it real slow. Yeah, that, that goddamn connection keeps dripping there. It looks into them. This funnel's very small. Now yeah, pinch it and your breath back. Won't hold much. There, that's yeah, it. Yeah, it's full already, yeah. That's like, good. I, told you, I yeah. can hear a girl yeah. on the Yeah, it's full, up. that's good. It At least up. you know it got everything, you know? Oh, yeah. Because the last time I did, I held that one up too, and I let him sit like this. I would pop this end now and then flush it that way, right? I think you want we're me to good. pop yeah, it? Yeah, I think pop we're it. good. I think you take everything right apart. Put it back together and we're good. Oh, I can feel that stuff. It's slippery on my hands. Slimy. Yeah. Slimy. Yeah. Slime on my hands. 
Cash is, he's pulling out that. I'm gonna blow that water Douche. out with the Douche air. for a minute, yeah. Yeah. The number's running again on the camera. I think so. Yeah. Hard to see it. You need eyeglasses, right? No, really. I read, reading glasses is all I use once in a while. I can't see up close. I'm blind yeah, up close. Yeah, I got reading glasses. I need them for doing everything. I'm 275 number, you know? That's a strong one. I didn't wet this. I don't That's know if you. I, I wet that. I washed that with that. Murky I was gonna let. Water. I was gonna let you do it. You I'll know. Do it another day. Yeah, I don't want to yeah, fuck your right now. Nice warm day. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. out and right then you do it all with the soapy yeah. water. Yeah. Take this and blow all the water yeah. off. You get and this starts right up. I think I got it. Now. Yeah, I put vinegar on my uh, alternator and aluminum parts okay. to clean them up a little bit. It made it nice, right. you know. Watch your face, ready? Yeah. Blow it back first. That's all. Clean. He's all cleared out. He's blowing that tap water out with compressed air. Make sure yeah. there's no tap water left in there. Good. Good. Good to go. Now you're just gonna top this off with antifreeze, right? Yeah. You're gonna run it, get the air out of your heater core, right? When you fill it up, yeah, it could, you gotta yeah. make sure the thermostat Thank and everything. Oh, yeah. Coffee, 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 yeah. That's small, huh? Not like the old ones. <clears throat> Mike Pleischer's got a radiator in it this big and this thick. Yeah. That's a heater core. Yeah, that's that. what I'm used to with heater cores yeah. being bigger. This real thin little thing, huh? Yeah. That's why it gets clogged up. Yeah, they're junk. Piece of shit. They're junk. Everything to save money, these car companies, every you know? New, every new car and truck's got them like yeah, that. Yeah, everything to save money. And they're plastic, too. Yeah, all about saving money. Plastic's no good. It get, from getting hot and cold, it cracks, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's right. Breaks down after that's a while. Why, that's why the people got these. They're, they're constantly having heater core problems yeah. with leaks. BMWs, everything is plastic on their cooling systems, yeah. and they all they, after a year or two, they crack and break. Plastic power steering housing, everything, you know, plastic. They say it's for the fuel efficiency to make the vehicle uh, lighter. A lot of it's about saving money, you know? Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. That's flushing the heater core on a... Uh, O2 Ram 1500. I'm gonna let him finish throwing that back together and uh, I'm gonna start it up and see if the symptom has gone away, if heat comes out on both sides. Larry was just telling me about these pliers. He was doing a job on one site in the Ellis Hospital and he was oh, working on a drop ceiling. That fell out of the drop ceiling, smacked him right in the forehead and cut him. But he got a free pair of ch uh, vice grips out of it. And these are old Sears pliers that are what 60 years old oh, yeah. about 60 years old <laughs> craftsman, yeah. craftsman. Old he had a craftsman tool set when he was a kid he still got them <laughs> they don't make the tools today like they used to not craftsman anyway craftsman's going to crap now they used to be really good tools for the price you got a nice tool This is good to about 25 below or so. It'll work. Nothing wrong with it. Are we getting full? Nope. Holy Christ, how much is this thing gonna hold? Yeah, keep going. It's starting to come up a little bit, but you gotta keep going. Wow. That should do it. I say, how much is this? I fill them right up myself. Yeah, I know you do. But there's a full line here, yeah? Yeah, you're good now. Yeah, I'm up right up on yeah. that line. You want me to start it? He's on the floor. Hey, let me put that gravy in the tap on there. All right. Yeah, let me put this on. It might suck it down a little. 
You should let me start it. You might want to add some to the radiator. Uh, you might that is the radiator, Paul. You can't add it nowhere else. Oh, really? That's the only spot? That's the only spot. The key's on the floor. Dude. That's a clutch fan on there? No, right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it is. Yeah, it is. It is? I can see it, yeah. Boy, it's from the water. From the oh, water yeah. splattering yeah. all over the place. Yeah, it's on the manifold. Yeah, on the manifold. It's CLR. Probably stinks. See, now, if you had a MAP sensor, this would be running all fucked up with the air cleaner off. Yeah. You know? I had that Ford truck. You took that hold off when you run. What's no, start? No, because of the MAP, yeah. This got a 4.7 liter in it. This runs off a uh, manifold air pressure sensor instead of a mass airflow sensor. So it doesn't matter if the air cleaner is off on this engine. Mm -hmm. Stinks, right? Yeah, I want to get some of that out. Yeah, it just hook. stinks. I'm trying to the valve cover, I guarantee it. I bet I'm going to the valve cover right now. Well, not if you're not going to drive the truck, you know? Yeah. You want to dry them plugs all off there. Because that manifold's hot, that's burning all that water off. It'll dry off. Yeah, this is going to be the Mercedes plugs are deep too on that car. You know the eight cylinders got sixteen spark plugs in it. Oh, you got the dual plugs. Yeah, yeah. sixteen fucking plugs, man. Henry Chrysler's got two per cylinder. Yeah. So two per cylinder. Like, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. That new engine they got. Yeah. Two per cylinder. My brother's yeah. truck. He, my brother bought his truck at two. Yeah. Yeah, it makes a bigger flame front, you know. It must be good, huh? Yeah. It must be good. Yeah. It's, uh, it's good power. Yeah, increases know? the power and fuel efficiency, yeah. you know? Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. hold I'm gonna hose more here you to get, get that nice antifreeze out of here. What are you gonna hose down here? The drive no the driveway, yeah. Yeah, that's all some of that that tire shine, see? Yeah, I just wanna make sure I get rid of all that, that shit. That's just some of that look. Here's the antifreeze. Yeah, it looks like on. oil. The tire shine looks like oil. Right? That's what I that's what I took out of that bottle. Yeah. I might be dumped out, huh? That tire shine looks like oil. It does. And it'll come right back too. Yeah. See, that's where I yeah. was up there with it. But it, it, it. I did hose it out when you left. I was hosing it all out. I should dump this out. Looks dirty. I hate to dump it down the drain. In your septic tank? I don't know. Yeah. You know what I do? I put it right in my garbage can. Yeah, then go to the dump. Go to the dump, right? To the dump, yeah. I could do that. I got a little bit on the ground. I don't know. Don't want the birds to get a hold of this stuff either. I don't want the birds to get drink this shit no, either, I back you know? Truck, I'll do the whole yeah. I got you. I can grab the other bus. Yeah. Thank you. There's a lot of inner on that. We've got a little misty spray car right there. Get it off that snap. That stinks later on. 
You get it on your belt, it'll make your belt squeak. Yeah. That shit. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I ever put a new belt on this truck. 18 years old. Yeah. I don't think I did. Let's check it. Yeah, it might be time, huh? Why does it look like it's got a lump in it, the belt or something? You see that? I think it's a wet, it was wet, that might be a dry spot or a wet spot. Uh, it looks like it's stumping on it. Let me see something. I don't think it is though. I just want to see something. I doubt if it is. Yeah, that's smoother right now, a little bit nope, though. still there. That might be getting ready to snap. <laughs> Could be. Could be. Yeah, there's a weird spot on there. Yeah, I see it. I don't know if I would put a belt on this truck. Oh yeah, it worked, huh? Still, it's not even warmed up yet. Any noise like a door? I bet there's still a door to screw up. Yep, heat coming out of both sides. Yeah. I had cold air coming out of here. Still not getting that much flow on the other side. It'll let warm me up. let me I think feel it. A door. Let that me that feel it on the other side. I think there's a door in there. Door shut. shut. Yeah. <clears throat> Open and close the blend door. Oh, it's locked. Locked. Go from hot to cold a couple of times and see. Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out, out here. The engine ain't warm yet. It's still on. Uh, it's coming out good. Temperature yeah. gauge is still on cold. Yeah, it's coming out nice. I, I just started it. That's that'll get. This will blow you out when it's. Uh, yeah, that cooled down. Yeah. That works good. This works good. Yeah, the blend door is working. You hear that funny sound? I'll yeah. listen to this. Yeah, it sounds like there's something, something in the motor. There's a in there. It sounds like there's something in the motor. No, it's like there's something in the fan. In the, the motor's down there. And Gabby's kid took it apart, took the door out. The door was broke off. It's way underneath. Yeah, it sounds like it's blowing right against something. I like think some... there's something broke loose yeah. in there. It's something yeah. laying in there. Yeah. It's hitting the... Yeah. But it, it works good. But it should be blowing more than that, though. It should be blowing more than that. That should be blowing harder than that. This side might be blowing a little harder than that side. Try it on the bottom. Where's the floor? Oh, uh, the floor one. It works good, the separation, well, you know. Blowing good down here. Sounds yeah, like it's cool going really Yeah, that sounds down. fucked up. There's something going something, on in there. Something came out there. Something's like, blocking something's that. Got a, yeah, something's a blocking that. Yeah. There somewhere. Maybe some insulation or something. Yeah, something, there. something's yeah. blocking it. But it's got good heat already. In the that engine. would annoy me, that noise. Yeah, I don't turn it on that high anyway. That, that never made that noise before. Yeah, there's something blocking that. The engine's still cold. That temperature gauge all the way down. Yep. Alright, guys. The, uh, all right, guys, the uh, heater's blowing out both sides, so it must have been the heater core. Larry wasn't lying, guys. It's a fix. All right, thanks for watching. Please give a like and subscribe. Larry's getting ready to throw back the air box in there. Still not heated up all the way. He's going to let it heat up, dry the engine off. Made sure we got all the antifreeze off of there for a stink. And for the animal lovers out there, we are going to thoroughly hose down this driveway and probably dispose of that antifreeze. All right, guys, help our channel grow, guys. I appreciate your support. We're over a thousand viewers already, big stuff. We've got 9,000 more to go. And then we're gonna count, we'll be on the charts. All right, remember guys, take good care of your cars, they'll take good care of you. It's starting to come up now. Might take a little more antifreeze when it comes up. We're just taking a truck for a spin to warm it up <laughs> and dry the engine off. We gotta watch people come flying around this corner like maniacs here. Yeah, especially after 
They like flying around blind corners like idiots, you know? Well, twice yesterday I come here and they almost creamed me coming around that yeah. damn corner. Yeah. That's not even yeah. up yet. Yeah, that's good. This thing will blow you out with a train. Yeah. yeah, it's not even, it's just starting to get at the bottom of the cold now. Yeah. This side was hot, this side was a little cold here. Huh. Oh, the side you were on was cold, huh? No, this was hot. The driver's side was cold. Cold. When you drive it, you're freezing there. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. It's like an air conditioning blowing on you yeah. on that side. It wasn't very pleasant driving on that side. Good man. Nice, nice I want no tickets. Oh. Uh, Forty miles an hour. Yeah, That's it. Thirty-five here and forty on the other side. Yeah, I'm of the going bridge. thirty, thirty-eight now. Yeah. When you get on the other side, the bridge. That, 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 yeah, they hide over they there, hide right? In that one building there. Uh, that Masula will stay so turn around there and head back and then right. that engine will be hot. Over the bridge there and make a left. Dodge charges, I see them all over the place now. A lot of them. A lot of them, isn't it? All the, people, all the troopers got them. Now. I liked them when they first came out, and that is too many of them. They're I too... like the looks of them. They're pretty nice. They're right? a good-looking car. I like the Challenger that myself. That was the son across the street Ed. He bought one. Top of the line, everything on it. It's got a V6. All-wheel drive? Might be. It's, it's nice. He really likes it, too. It's, uh, it's got the V6 in there, which is better. You know, you got... 310 or 15 horsepower. Yeah, you don't need any more than that. Go like hell and you want me to turn around turn here, left right? Left into yeah. the place here. I make a U-turn when you get that intersection. This is one of my test ones. Turn around right at the intersection here. Make a big swing. Yeah. These don't turn sharp like a car. But they're good enough. Turn here and over it back out. <laughs> Up now. <clears throat> yeah, it's hot. That heat is hot. Oh, man. yeah, it's blowing good here now. Huh? Ain't that funny when that does That'll it? fucking gag you out, that heater. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> the Gotta air stop. conditioning on it is good, too. Gotta stop at the stop signs. <clears throat> you never know when they're watching. The air conditioning on it looks really good yeah. in the summer. It cools down the Lincoln, you need me to look at, The Lincoln, right? I, think that, I think that pump's not running. Must be all leaked out. You want to mess around with that today? I don't think so. <laughs> I'll have to buy the stuff. 12 o'clock now. Oh, you still didn't buy it yet? Uh, I'm going to make a quick bite to eat. Like you it, want right? to convert it to the dust off? It's cheaper. What's the dust off? I'll show you. It's cheaper and it supposedly gets colder. Oh, and yeah? it's better for the environment, too. <laughs> I'm speeding now. I'm doing 50. Yeah, it's a Ford. It's a damn yeah, but Ford. your buddy with the Ranger, that's a full size. Yeah, I wonder what they want for full that. Full size is better. Looks nice. I wonder what, yeah, but it's another Ford. Yeah, but you get them with the V8 motor, nice, that 4.6, I had one, I love it. Yeah, but that's the trouble engine, isn't it, the 4.6? No, that's overhead cam, they done away with that uh, 302 they had, them, and they came up with that 4.6 overhead cam. The one your brother's got is the what? <laughs> The, I don't know, it might be a five something. Yeah, that's the problem that's one, a five the, three uh, or something, isn't it? Got, yeah. Five two? I don't know what the heck it is. I forget. But I know it's the trouble engine. They even told him that when he bought it, right? Yeah, I think the guy told him that engines were one of the better not as good. I don't know. If that's the one he's got, I'm not sure. The guy told him one of them wasn't good. I don't know if it's the one he I got. I think it's the, the one he got. got. It's the one he got. Yeah, that's I gotta look it up. To, to, I, to, to, no, watch. There's too much shit to remember. You know? Yep, yeah, that's real hot. That's crazy. That's good. And that was cold, huh? Well, it was cold clogged up, yeah. There. Even yesterday, I went all the way to... Freezing your ass off, all right? All the way out to Swagger Town Road and back for about 15 miles. And blowing cold there all the way, but it wasn't cold They're outside. making me drive in the dust. This is the dirt road here. From here on... 
park it right in the front pond there. Not in this, on the side here, right? right? Here, yeah. yeah. I want to hit your blinker. I'll open the hood again and check the... You don't go on the grass, right? No. Well, you did. <laughs> I pull up to the mailbox that I back up. I oh, look in the mirror. In. You're good right here. Leave it right here. You're, you're right on the black dot. It's a good running truck. You can open the hood real quick and we'll check the under the hood. Leave it running, maybe. See if that uh, granite freeze went down. All right. Good. Yep. I was gonna check that with that test. Well, that's gonna be good now because it had all that straight up stuff in there. Yeah, it was that stuff. I had Watch, it you don't get hit with the steam. No, I just could be all right. Yeah, pressure. Fucking burnt. Twenty below, right? Twenty below is fine. Ah, twenty, thirty something below. And it's going up a little bit. You're good. Twenty going something up. below. You're good. That's going fine. Up. Yeah, that's good. You ain't got to worry about that. That's fine. Thirty-five below, right there. Yeah, that's good. It's going up still, slow. It's going up slow. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. You want me to shut it off? That's hot, too. You're not supposed to shut it off of this. No, like. I don't think so. Yeah, you can shut it off. Lock it, right? Yeah, lock them up. I'll have to wipe the fender off. All that shit's sprayed all over. I don't know if that's that goddamn CLR or what. I'll wipe them off with a... Both fenders here. Yeah, yeah. sprayed. I just waxed it too. Spray one with piece. the detail on white rope. Yeah. We're up in the clouds now. There All right, one. guys. Look at the geese are coming back. I don't know if you can see them way up there. Probably now. Yeah, I see them. Yeah. They're way up there. You're not going to be able to see them on the camera. Whole load of geese. A load of geese going overhead today. All right. Now it's goodbye, guys. This was just uh, nonsense extra footage. Hi guys, I just took a video with my neighbor Larry, we uh, he had a heater core that was clogged on his 2000 and, what year is it, 02 Ram 1500 with a 4.7 in it, uh, only one side of the heater core was getting hot, it was blowing hot out of the passenger side, not on the driver's side, so we did a flush on it and it worked, it did clear it up, you might want to try this on your car, not guaranteeing it, not telling you it will work, but it worked on his. All right, so here's the video. There's a bunch of other nonsense in there trying to have a little fun. So I just made a video today of him putzing around with his stuff. Hope you enjoyed a little bit. Bye-bye.